on the wall. Does the computer say that? Close enough? Close enough, yeah. All right. Now welcome, everybody, uh, for the May 22nd, 2023 Rochester Select Board meeting, which has been posted in three public places, correct, and on our website, and interested parties emailed. And so let's move forward with the um, minutes from the last meeting of May 8th. And I see there is one correction on the um, the um, wording of the waiting on the um, word of the class two grant on Bethel Mountain Road. And so otherwise, I move to approve as typed up. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. All right. And then we have the um, treasure treasurer's report um, and it seems all yep. up and up and ready and right good. Along. Yeah. numbers grow as we <laughs> yeah, numbers <laughs> keep growing. Uh -huh. They can't keep Must be right. <laughs> now move to approve that. A second. All in favor? All right. right. Yep. Got that. And um, Frank, you want to talk about the driveway permit on Sky Hollow Road? Uh, don't know much about it, to be yeah, honest with you. I think John's got it. He did it's it. A, I hadn't read it's it yet. Not, uh, and he was all set with it, I believe. So it's actually on Valley View Drive? Yeah. yeah. All right, so John had a chance to check it out and he's cool with it. Yeah, I guess I'm going to Yeah. All right, so um, I'd move to approve that. That's that, um, 40 Valley View Drive. Mm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> and um, well, this is going to be not the special softball tournament, but the first <clears throat> annual. So that some um, people still want to go and hurt themselves playing softball again? Is that one got easier for that? <laughs> My turn? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, I'm not sure how much you know about it, but Michaela Richardson uh, had been doing it, I think, for the last couple of years. Yep. She has decided to let it go and was going to let it dissolve, per se. So, I've decided to take it over. Um, because I've decided to take it over, I'm going to be having some help through the fire department, as I'm a member of the fire department. So I, it's on here as the first annual softball tournament because I'm hoping to have it be called RVFD, annual, the annual RVFD softball tournament. Um, that way the money will be going, will be in good hands as far as it being in the fire department and then, you know, depending on how things go throughout the years if there's a certain place that money needs to go to or, you know. So like the winning team has to cough up a thousand bucks? Um, nope, the each, yeah. No, yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Yeah. two. Well, each, just like last year, each team will pay a an fee, entry. an entry, entry fee for yeah. each okay. team. Um, I'd like to do it on the 1st of July, which is a Saturday, before the 4th, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and have it kind of Talk about the field too. Yeah, I think have to have it go the same as before. You know, um, I do. I would like to utilize the baseball field. Last year we currently used the softball field and made like a little makeshift field on the grass, which I think was actually very unsafe. We had mm -hmm. someone break their leg. The baseball field is a little bit too big. Um, and I have a couple of people that know the numbers to make the field the same as the softball field. Because it's not being used and there's no high school, um, I'm asking to sort of change the baseline. Not the field doesn't have to be changed, just the bases need to be moved to make the field the same size as the softball field. And then both fields would be utilized, both sets of dugouts would be used. It's more of like what the town made it for, I guess having them both be used, but mm -hmm. I do need approval to fix the bases. And they could always be moved back if there was... Yeah. Okay, so the yeah. reconfiguration yeah. is not going to... No, just the base, that. yeah. Do you need the fields to be rolled? Um, I have people that have volunteered already to help do such a thing. Um, 
never never against any extra help if anybody <laughs> wants to help do that but we have a couple of guys that have said they would help with some field maintenance and has my blessing okay. caitlin yes it's martha slater um i was just wondering um when it gets a little closer i mean in a couple in a week or two to a couple weeks um if you would be willing to send me information about this, I could put some an article in the Herald specifically about the tournament. Yes, I, I was waiting uh, to have the date and the name change be approved. And Kristen okay, also well, tonight, it'll it'll be this information will be in the, the um, select board article. But yeah, I'd like to do a specific special article just about that, if that's okay with you. Um, so um, the girls here, the ladies here, have my email address. And everything. I'll get it to you, Martha. So we're going co -ed. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Same as last year, co ed. I think um, okay, it worked wonderfully. Yeah, and I think the same thing would be a double elimination. Mm -hmm. um, last year, I think there was four or five teams. I know the year before there was six, so we definitely wouldn't want any more than six, but I don't think we're going to get a big, crazy amount of people. But it's just for fun. That's all we're doing it for fun. Nancy? So I understood that I guess the recreation department was having to move over to the baseball field because of regulations for young people's baseball. And you probably know more about it working with Michaela. Does that all fit into it? It does. They're actually the regulations for younger <coughs> kids are actually closer to a softball field. So that's what I'm trying to make the, the men's baseball field in more regulations of a softball field and a minor's baseball team yeah. field. Okay. Because there is no varsity baseball teams anymore that would need such a large field. It's too bad not to use the field. Yeah. Right, that's why I'm hoping to use it. Mm -hmm. no, use the dugouts and use the land that's out right there. Yeah. Is there any interest in an ongoing league participation? in the future? You mean like the baseball? Warren League? Or so, softball League. Softball League. So yeah. I think there's some. Some took it a little more serious. Like I, I'd like it to be fun and then see if there's a few teams that want to play once a month or something or, you know, and then of course that would be a different discussion and a different approval, mm -hmm. but I'm not against that. That would be great. So yeah. I did understand, I think I understood from Michaela that the bases are a different size, the ba the bags are a different size. So. They're just further out in the field. Okay. The line that you run is further. Okay. So they would just be brought in. So and the, the and the size of the the look of the field wouldn't change. Yeah. But there is a, a need for different supplies on the field. Like the size of the base the uh, bag has to be a different size? No, they're the same. They would just be the placement okay. of them. Someone, yeah. we would have to oh, set them differently. That's great. Sounds fine to me. Is that, um, you know, we have yet formally approved that? Yeah. Can I ask another question on that? Yeah, yeah. How often are we mowing that field now? I think it's on a whatever basis it needs to be mowed. Yeah. I think is more like, and I'm not sure he's had maybe he's only one, one, at once, one, yeah. one mowing this year. He needs it really bad. Right now it's grown. Well, so I think that we cut them back on mowing. We, we did, yeah. yeah. So, we, so should we should step it up before this event. Yeah. 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 And I'll talk and with make John. sure it's done timely for your event. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk with John. He's, he might even be a participant in your event. Yeah. <laughs> and really and all those guys. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll 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 make sure that's taken care of. So I move to give the um RBFD softball tournament our blessing. A second. All in favor? All right. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. yeah. Be fun. Have be, fun. It'd be nice to hear sounds of yeah. life from yeah. down yeah. there. Thank you. Thanks for coming yeah. 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 Good Good <laughs> Thank you. Yep. So we have a application for use of the town park from um, the shelter team um, filed by Janice um, McCann. That is um, 
she wants that to one Friday per month um, during the farmer's market. So she wants to have an information booth regarding emergency planning and looking for help and support from that. So I move to approve that. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yep. And Can I ask a question? Yes. Is it going to be part of the space of the farmer's market? And if so, does it require a payment for a table? That's uh, a good question. Yes, it I, does. I can only say that because I know the Energy Committee was charged $12 every time they showed up to table, and they ended up paying out of their pocket, even though it was like a town committee. I would, I would think that a, a committee like this that's looking to, right. to find support for volunteer effort would be... So if they're so the the fee for the table that's part of the farmers markets deal. So right. this is a separate application, not to be right. part of the farmers market. Because just to Jan have approached them and they said that she could not participate with the farmers market because she wasn't agricultural. Well, a lot of those things aren't agricultural. That was my question. Yeah. Who said that? So, so I. Asia. I um. But, so I think anything to do with the town, though, is a little crazy as far as if they want to, you know, they're using the facilities of the town for nothing uh, to have their farmer's market, basically. Um, and the vendors charge for whatever they sell there. And if the town has a, a use for that use. kind of purpose, then I don't see why they should, we should be paying for to be a part of that Friday night no. gathering, if yeah. that's the case. I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me. And even with the library folks there, mm. I mean, it just anybody that is a town-sponsored thing and they're just there to promote whatever, like the energy part of it or whatever, yeah, it just, just doesn't make any department. sense to so me I, that I they would, should be charged for that. Well, especially since they're getting a separate application from us to. Right. have a presence on the park and the, just because right. the farmer's market is there doesn't mean that nobody else can use the park right, right. exactly so, so I would I would move to approve this but I would also um, I guess we need to talk with the funder they shouldn't be paying the farmer's market people to have a table there no. I don't think. we need clarification on that I know yeah. that they carry insurance right and this and that but but um, we the, need to have their take on, on is, what it is. Isn't anybody associated with a town like the emergency shelter people there under our insurance anyway? Yeah. As far as I know. I mean, but they're volunteers. Right. They are volunteers. You know, and they aren't there to make money. Where exactly. Everybody in the farmer's right. market is there to make money. Right. I agree. I agree with you on that, too. So should I tell Jeff that he should just fill out a park use permit? Yeah, he'll be. And he's at the meeting yeah. anyway. Oh. He'll, he'll be here. Oh, Jeff. Tonight. He's not. He's not. Oh, sorry. Oh. I guess he's not. Usually he shows oh. up, but he's not here tonight. Okay, I'll suggest that to but, him because yeah. I know they were paying out of pocket. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. And we yeah. weren't aware of that. I wasn't no, aware. I wasn't of aware of that. No, no. but they so, shouldn't be paying out of pocket for that. That's ridiculous. All right. So, um, did we move to approve this one and to be voted on that? Uh, Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I mean, now we did, for sure. Um, and then, um, speaking of the park, oh. it's a popular time of year for that. We have Pierce Hall Community Center um, asking to hold their annual ice cream social with free ice cream for all historic car show and family games. Uh, and that's free. And that is on um, June 25th. That, um, 12 noon, uh, set up at noon, events from 2 to 4. And so, I'd move to approve that one. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. That sounds like fun. <laughs> and we have. Pierce Hall and Bridgeline Outdoor Collective have an application for use of the Riverbrook Park. 
Um, and that <coughs> is for their 5K run walk event, which will be a registration table and some banners, um, parking not in front of the fire station. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, they put that in print. And um, it's a fundraiser for Pierce Hall and the Bridge Line Outdoor Collective, and I moved to approve that one. On July 4th. Uh, second. Yes. July 4th, 7 to 10.30. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yep. Well, gee, look at here's another one from Pierce Hall Community <laughs> Center. Uh, also same for day. same day, Fourth of July, <laughs> and this one would be on the um, the main park, and this is for their um, July chicken barbecue and fifty fifty raffle, and uh, that from is from nine to two thirty, and I move to approve that. A second. Is it, it nice to be having Fourth of July again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, this is um, more interest maybe to some of the other folks in here. It's, I mean, parties and stuff on the park are fun, but this is our fiscal year 2023 to 24 pay rates. Um, for the town employees, which was, um, this was decided and um, mm -hmm. approved at the budget committee, but now this is our official um, adoption and approval of that. A second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your service. All right, and then we have the um, we have some discussion on modifying the town's procurement policy, and that was the proposal was to up to now we've had to anything that we spend more than ten thousand dollars was requiring um, we'd go out to bid for that, and I've um, there's a couple situations that have come up, and also in conversation with the. VLCT, they think that's a little bit onerous to have to trigger that process at, at a relatively low rate. I guess when we, when did they start this policy? It was probably ten thousand dollars was worth yeah, a, lot, a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it's and so the um, way we have is major purchases um, calling for delivery of goods or services in the amount of fifty thousand or greater would trigger a requirement to go out to bid. And regular purchases or leases, um, which would be calling for delivery of goods or services in the amount of 10,000 10, to 30,000, that would be um, so that would just be an ongoing, ongoing expense. And incidental purchases calling for delivery of goods or services less than 10,000 would be not, um, those are the definitions of what major, regular, or incidental. Purchases. What about purchases between thirty and fifty? Well, that's why we're pushing this up to um, to fifty. Up to fifty. Yeah. So it needs to be changed between ten and. Do you have some input on that? We um, we did the financial policies, the master financial policies, which is attached. So I think the major was up to thirty. And um, we didn't go as high as 50, but we went to 30. We did go up from 10 to 30. To 30, yeah. Last one. The last one. So I just wanted to point that out that okay. that's also been approved, but whether you want. So we would have to go back and reapprove it mm -hmm. if we went to we 50. We just amend it. We just, just amend, amend it. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also written into the policy is an option for a waiver. Mm -hmm. off of the policy so if we did have a one-time event where we thought that it was non-conforming but we approved of it we could exercise the option of uh, voting in a waiver which that 
that kind of covers it right there, doesn't it? It would apply to anything we deem necessary. Yeah, yeah. Without changing the whole policy. So in this situation, and what has triggered this conversation is the offer <laughs> from um, an unnamed individual to pay for a new roof on the library. And they have, how many bids have you got? Four. Four. So they've already gone through a bidding process that just wasn't officially warned in papers. It was bid papers. by invitation. It bid by invitation, not public notice. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's... That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem with that. So could we just vote to um, enact a waiver on this, um, in this situation? I think that's that? the best way to go yeah. right now. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I would think. Are, the, are they sealed bids or... No. Are they... Yeah. Um, I don't know how is that is how does that fit in with our policy? Well, Are we with that, covered with by, that or by adopting the, choosing to right there where it explains yeah. what the waiver so is to waiver. So we're then, covered yeah, with that. Yeah. I mean, you guys feel happy about that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. As long as you you guys feel the same, I mean, that's fine. You can do waivers as often as you want, <clears throat> or feel fit. Is there a limit yeah. on the? How um, many waivers would you have? I know how high, uh, how high of an amount. Well, it would, the waiver there. would be outside of the policy. Yeah. We're just moving the policy aside to deal with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which that came into play, I think, a few times during Irene, and we were just like, you know, don't waste time on the policy. Just take care of what needed to happen. Yeah. Probably several times. Yeah, probably several times. <laughs> yeah. 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 <clears throat> And we were under a state of emergency then, which I think yeah, was true. Well, true. yeah, true. it gives you emergency powers at least, I would say. So let me get this. So the waiver feature, is that included in the new policy? or was I it? think it's on page two right yeah. there. Okay. And that wasn't included in the old policy? No. Um, the only, it might have been. I believe. I didn't think it was, but it might have Because yeah. I basically copied except for changing the amount on the major. Yeah. So it should be in the so old it should be in the in the current policy. Yeah. But it's in the new one that we're talking about adopting. So I would move to approve that one. The waiver. The um well the new policy. Mm -hmm. The the new procurement policy. Yeah. Basically. I still think it should be at thirty, but you can go ahead and vote. Yeah. So you want a second? Yeah. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Okay. It's good. It's nice to not have to be totally unanimous all the time. <laughs> really? <It's boring. laughs> Except when you're the one that doesn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, now, this, this doesn't preclude the fact that if there was something that was less than that and we want to go out to bid, we can still go out to bid. But this I, doesn't mean we can't go out to bid for something. I do think we need to be careful when we do this, though, and, and you know, have an idea of what we're looking at yeah. in the meantime. And, and if it does look like it's a conflict in any way, mm -hmm. we should put it out to bid. Yeah. And I think that's the way that yeah. we should be looking at it. And I, I think you have to have leeway. Um, well, just with the policy the way it was, John, even with his plow this winter, mm -hmm. almost topped out at $10,000. And to try to get three bids on a snow plow was winter, almost winter, impossible winter, yeah. To, yeah. to get. And, and it's just those kind of things that but kind of tie your hand. But 30000 would have covered it. But 30000 would have covered yeah. it. You're absolutely right. And I right. just think that uh, when we're placing bids out, for jobs, we want to stay as competitive as we can. So we can just somebody could just say, "I'll do it for forty nine thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars," and um, that would be under the threshold, and we wouldn't really know how competitive things were. Saving yeah. the competition I, saves the town money yeah. by going out to bids. And, and I think that's up to with board discretion. I think we can do that still, even yeah. with a limit of. Fifty thousand. I think this, the fifty thousand, gives us a, an op, a chance if there is an emergency to just. Then we would have do to it. vote on it to make sure the contractors don't come back and say that our right. policy was violated by going out to bids. Right. But we need to also. Well, I think we can still go out to bid if we choose to. 
Right. It doesn't say we can't go out to bid. The other option would be to do a hard coded contract for everything between 30 and 50 at least. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, maybe we should look at it that you way. Have to anyway, right? I mean, that's well, possible. without without having a contract, without going out to bids, somebody could say, "Yeah, I'll do it for thirty-five thousand, but then you get a bill for forty-five thousand, right? And there's no, there's no, there's no structure. I mean, it's a lot of money at that point. Right. Well, it is when you only have so much, right? <laughs> We have to answer to the budget. You, yeah. <laughs> well, what this does, though, is this gives us the freedom to ask for bids invitationally and not have to go through the whole put it in the paper and wait another two weeks. And as long as the road foreman understands that if he's going to write a check for forty nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars, he's got to check with us first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and I think that we can. Rearrange. I think the terminology should be rearranged a little bit next time we visit this. Because these can be amended, and I mean, it's, it's yeah. like board and that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to do that. And amend it. Did you guys, um, do you know how much it's going to cost? Um, the bid that was um, accepted by the trustees and the donor was almost 30. It was 29 and yeah. change. So 30 would have done it. So, so 30 would have done it. So. Yeah. yeah. But there is additional work over and above the roof that will be included. So that would have been over yeah. 30. And then with the donor as well. The donor wants the attic inspected to find out why the ceiling on the second floor is sagging to mm -hmm. see if there's rotten wood. Um, and also to remove any wet insulation and yeah. put in some dry. Well, so those things you. aren't included in... Thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, the, um, they are donating this scope of work, um, and... It's my understanding they will be paying the uh, roofer uh, directly mm -hmm. so that we won't be commingling donations and checks and all that. Um, but it will be Heather Turnbull doing the work. Okay. Um, they all have to be under the insurance policy, too, though. Yeah, I'll never yeah. stop by before she. Work. Yeah, mm. I mean that all has to be approved, right? Back when you think of anything else. Yep. Yep. Nope. And work should start in two weeks. Two weeks. That all was right. part of the donor's uh, stipulation. Yes, it had, had to begin. <laughs> had to happen now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you send me the information so that I can get that into the contract? Um. Sure. Okay. Yes. For workers' comp and all that. Just not that she has it, but that it will. Yeah, I need the wording just to make sure I have it right. Of the job description and. Okay, I will. I will send you over a copy of her <laughs> estimate. Okay, that's, can, that's all I've got. Is the one piece of paper. I think a little more time might be good. But, but I will send her your door. Quick thing. All right. can, before we <clears> next, we've also got another. Um, okay. Um, investment policy for the trustees of public funds. It's uh, another background on this. Um, so, well, it's it's all part of our updating all of our policies. Right, mm -hmm. right. That's basically and all part of that master financial policy. Yeah. In accordance with twenty four BSA two four three one, funds <laughs> held by the town and trust for any purpose, including. Cemetery trust funds are under the charge and management of the town's trustees of public funds, and the trustees of public funds have the power to hold, purchase, sell, assign, transfer, and dispose of any of the securities and investments in which any of these funds are invested, as well as the proceeds of such investments. <laughs> so that's basically the opening paragraph, and I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. But. I would move to approve this, and as we continue to get more in line with the um, appropriate policies. The never-ending policies, yes. yes. All in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Yep. Aye. Yep. Sorry. Let's get to 
something on on that. And Doreen Jones, um, and representing the Rochester Public Library, is asking for um, use of the park uh, for a retirement party for Jeanette Baird. Jeanette, thank you for all <laughs> your service. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years, yeah. And this is going to be like on the Saturday, the 17th of June, from 2 to 4. And I you guys made the decision who's the replacement? Uh, you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we we have. Yes. Um, what's her name? Carol and something. Carol. 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 I think right. probably everybody knows Carol yeah. from the yeah. hardware. Um, but she, uh, although she's never worked uh, a library job before, mm -hmm. She's got extensive uh, work history doing librarian type things um, yeah. for different art collectors. Yeah. So I think that she definitely has transferable skills and I think she'll be excellent. She can read. Hmm? Yeah, she knows her ABCs and one, two, threes. She's very fluent in French as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Well, I'd, um, well thank you. Carol for taking on this job and thank you for doing it for so long and um, I have moved to approve the application to throw your party. <laughs> A second. Okay. All in favor? All right. All right. Yeah. And she's always cleaning. Oh, good. Dusting, cleaning, sweeping. And hopefully she won't have to be doing the mopping. <laughs> <laughs> when the roof is leaking. <laughs> <laughs> she will go. Yeah, she will. Yeah. So, um, speaking of the library, any um, reports other than that um, big news? Big announcement. Those are the two biggies. Yeah, the two biggies. Oh. Okay, we kind of cover that. And, um, Everything else? Um, Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Yep. I'm sorry. While you were just still doing par park, I wanted to ask two quick park questions. Is that okay, or should I wait? Oh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, is it? Um, I um, wanted to ask the town crew to put the picnic tables on the park. This is the time when they usually do it is around Memorial Day. It, they're um, going to do them and, this week. Okay, so you you've already I've already, I've already taken care of it. Yep. My other question was Jerry LeBlanc took a picture today that he sent to me of you, Frank, and um, Nancy Woolley and Lois Bond planting some trees on the park. And I can't remember where the trees were, were coming from. It was discussed at a previous meeting, I think. Could you just tell me where the trees came from? Was it a donation or? They were not, they were part of a grant that we wrote. You can call me. They, they came from Cobble Creek Nursery in Cobble Moncton. Creek Nursery. And there are six Bristol? of them. Bristol? And it's a grant, a two for one grant. So we got $5,000 from the state. And now we're looking for in kind. We had in kind to some of it to plant. And we'll be spreading mulch um, throughout the park around all of the trees. I've got a uh, breakdown of that here coming up. And Frank will talk about that. But they came from Cobble Creek Nursery, which is a wholesale nursery. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. No problem. No problem. Um, Terry, you got, um, what's the scene with the, um, the septic field down there behind the school? We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Do you want to, um, uh, got a broken hydrant. I ordered a new one. That oh, somebody one. broke last On Friday night. Any idea who hit that? None. No. Uh, but I'm not going to replace just the guts and stuff. The whole thing is 40 years old, so I'm going to replace it. Because even if I replace the top part, it's not replacing where the valve is. So I can't see spending three quarters of what it costs to put one brand new one in. What does it cost to put new one in? 
They didn't give me a price yet. They didn't give you a price yet. Yeah. They didn't give me cheap. I think Hydrant's probably going to twenty five hundred. Yeah, I think we were valuing them at three thousand dollars. Yeah, you we still got to dig it up and yeah. and replace it. Yeah. But it's too corroded and too. It would cost us a fortune to clean it up good enough to reuse it and do all that work on it. It's stupid. Is that insurance? I'm right. checking. You're checking. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Just a just a nice fix. So like car insurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I got a piece of the car down there, but yeah. I've asked several people. Nobody seems to <laughs> doesn't come to light on what it fits. No. Yeah. But they, somebody's got some front end damage. I would think so. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Uh, Go to the next soccer game and see. Also, I got a fire truck that's in the hospital right yeah. now. I have no idea what it's going to cost us. They changed one solenoid and found another one that's bad. So I'm hoping it just stays that so it'd be within reason. Which truck? The tanker. The tanker. We need to have that back. Well, they get back, but they gone for two weeks now, and I got an idea it's going to be another week or so. Where, where is it? Down at the freight liner down in Lebb. Mm -hmm. That's the only place we could find that wanted to work on it. Yeah. The age, and it's not a freight liner. It's a custom yeah. cab, so it's not like you can go anywhere to get fixed. Mm -hmm. Uh... No more by the end of the week. So we have mutual aid standing. Yeah, I set it up with Jock before, as soon as I knew there was something wrong. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as that goes, it's not, we don't have any problem about coverage. You know, we're in better shape in some towns since we just went to a fire in Granville last week to a truck fire because of no response. Yeah. Yes, I hear that. I was, I was monitoring. So you know, when they come down to thinking about suiting an ambulance, how are they going to do that when they can't get two or three people to run the fire truck to the scene? They're working on improving that. They ain't going to. They yeah. just don't we got it. We got it. You can, you can believe what you want. I, I go by what Matt tells me, so yeah. I realize what it takes to do the ambulance and yeah. what it's going to take. And it's a lot more than you're getting led to believe. Mm -hmm. All right. Other than that, I guess everything's good. Okay. <laughs> and Jeff's not here tonight? Nope. Um, grant updates? Um, I just have a couple of little things. We received our final reimbursement for the How Brook. Um, of 3100 so that part of the grant is all done and closed out and we also received notification that we are um, good to go to begin work with our grants and aid for this year's um, award I, it was twenty seven thousand dollars and we'll be working on North Hollow and Cooper Run um, and those grants are to clean up and shape stone line um, drainage ditches so um, Cooter received notification too that he's good to start any time on that. And that's all I've got. Cool. Got a couple things yep. that I've written down. Uh, the EV chargers are now operational down here. They are? They're on? They're, they're, up, yep. and, they're up and running. Um, it's only set up for two cars at a time. Mm -hmm. um, the two chargers on our different connectors on either side of each charger for different vehicles. Uh, so those are up and running. Uh, the, the bridge at West Hill, the clearing started up there. They're probably pretty well done clearing and then they'll be working on the approach to put the temporary in. And uh, John had put some gravel down at the Lions Club Park yeah, uh, in the driveway, which I asked him to do a while ago, and he got that completed. Uh, the trees we planted on the park, Nancy gave a rundown on that. And on June 3rd, uh, which is a Saturday, we're 
uh, planning on getting 40 yards of mulch to mulch all the trees on the park. Um, we're going to be trying to get, uh, get a bunch of volunteers together for mulch, to spread the mulch. I'm trying to look for uh, five or six pieces of equipment that with an operator to at least transport the mulch from the, the uh, park house parking lot over to the trees and if we could get 10 or 12 folks with a shovel or rake to just spread it around the trees that would be good. I'd, I'd like to list some fire department folks if they would be willing. You got pro we got something going on that day so we I, can't help I know you. but I know but if this is in the morning uh, hopefully we could get it done. Uh, I, even library folks, people that use the park, uh, farmers market folks, anybody that's willing to volunteer, that would be nice if they could call either me or the town office and leave word, or um, that would be good. If not, we'll just have to pay somebody to do it. So it'd be nice if we could get a bunch of people together to do it. I wanted to do it before Memorial Day, but there's just not time enough. So. Um, and the last thing I did talk to John and asked him to put the the uh, benches and and tables out this week um, and I talked to the fertilizer guy and uh, he said after he gets 10,000 acres done at corn he'll get to the park <laughs> 10,000 acres so that's about it any um, one on zoom have anything they want to talk about Nope, it's pretty quiet on there tonight. Nope, pretty quiet tonight? Yep. And um, I think we're um, moving to... Um, oh, Paul. Martha's waving oh. now. Martha's waving. Okay. Quick question. I noticed that you're going into um, a, an executive session with Terry Severy about water and sewer. Yeah. So obviously I can't attend that, but what I'm wondering is, uh, do you expect there's going to be something that when you come out of the executive session that you would be, um, I that I should include my article? Doubt it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was thinking I could call the town office tomorrow and just check with the ladies if and, and find out. Is that okay? Um, sure. If we come to any major decisions. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. Sure. Thank yeah. you. So as Mark mentioned, we're going to conclude this meeting and then um, go into an executive session. So thank you all for coming. Thank you.